Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to share a gradient amongst three different blocks on a web page. Now, I'm getting this idea from over at webflow.com, and they've got these three boxes, and it's pretty subtle, but you'll notice that each box has a slightly different gradient. You know, it goes from like a pink to a bluish purple going across. And it looks pretty pleasant. Don't think of it as there's a gradient in each of those boxes. Instead, think of those boxes as kind of like windows, and we're looking at a gradient that's in one large box behind it. Now we're going to create a similar look here. Now I've got a demo page set up, and I'm going to be working right here in between my header and footer. Let's see, I'm going to do a div.parent to create a div, class equals parent, and then I'm going to do div.child times three to create three of those. And that's going to be it for my HTML. I'm going to have a parent element with three child elements inside. And I'm going to use Flexbox to get those three boxes side by side. It'll also make it quick and easy so that this will be a responsive interface. Okay, so into the styles. And I'm going to work on internal styles right up here. I've got my, my parent element. And so that we can visualize it for the short term, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, uh, a border that is two pixels solid and kind of dark. Do a display flex on there. That's going to make it a flex box parent. And I'm also going to do flex flow row wrap. That'll give it some basic responsiveness, meaning these boxes will go in a vertical orientation if the page is narrow. All right, that's pretty good for now. Now let's adjust the the child elements that are within the parents. Now for those, I'm going to do a flex, one, zero, that's the grow and the shrink. And then for the basis, I'm going to put a minimum on here um, using a basis. And I'm going to say about 280 pixels. You can think of that as kind of like a minimum width for the, the flex box children, those three boxes. But I want to be able to see them, so they do need some height. I want to give them a min height of about, uh, yeah, might as well do 280 pixels as well. And let's try this. Background color, yellow green. Let's see what that gets us. So our parent is display flex, and our children just have the flex property, 10280 pixels with a background color on there. It's actually not bad. So because of the flex grow of one, all of these boxes have expanded width-wise to fill up the space. That 280 pixels is the, is the base, the minimum, not the maximum. All right, but that's actually pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is create a border on these things, a really large border. Border of 20 pixels solid white. Now by putting that really thick border on these child elements, now you can really see them pretty clearly. So here's the challenge, or not really the challenge, but here's a key trick. We're going to use that border to pretend to be a spacer. What if that border wasn't white, but it was that same shade of blue I have as the background? So instead of a border of white, I'm going to put var color background one. I believe that's the background color I want. And sure enough, there it is. And now, instead of there being a border there, I'll just take that border on the parent and make that zero. Cool. So now I've got those three boxes side by side. By the way, if my browser was narrower, those three boxes are going to wrap and go into a vertical orientation. But because of those borders on there, which look like margins, um, everything is nicely balanced. Great. Okay, this is cool. So now I'm going to go to the parent element, background image. Let's do a linear gradient. I'm going to do about 30 degrees. And let's see, how about if we did something like dark blue, green, yellow. Okay. Now, you're not really going to see this because my solid color children elements, those are on top of that parent. And remember, these borders are solid, so you can't see through those either. So if my child had a background color that was transparent, now you're going to see that gradient show through. And that's exactly what we were going for. We want a gradient 
that's behind the three boxes and shared amongst them. Pretty neat. And of course, once again, if these are narrow, that gradient is still behind the parent, so they still get a different gradient even when they're in a vertical orientation. Looks nice. Now last but not least is I'm going to go to parent child hover and let's see, uh, scroll up here. Oops, I got to put a space on that too. No, I don't actually. That looks good just the way it is. When I hover over that child element, I'll do a background color using RGBA. And let's do something kind of dark gray, um, 40, 40, 40. That's a pretty dark gray. And then semi-transparent, actually quite a bit transparent. This is like four. And so now when I hover over these, you notice there's just a slight shift in the color and it actually kind of makes the gradient pop a little bit more and change a little bit. But that's basically the look I want to go for. Shared gradient amongst three boxes and on hover there's a slight shift in that effect. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So give it a try for yourself and thanks for hanging out with me.